I thought today that we'd take a break from lockdown, working from home, resilience, COVID, do this, don't do that, do these five things, stop doing those seven things. I just, I just thought we would get, we would jump way out beyond ahead of the whole thing. That's, that can be a good strategy sometimes, can't it? Let, let's, let's get ahead of everything for a change. Neil O'Brien is my name and my company is called Time to Fly. I'm often asked, where did that name come from? So when my daughter was four years of age, one day I was sitting in my favorite chair, reading my favorite newspaper, minding my own business. She arrived in front of me and said that she had been thinking, and go on, and she said she had been thinking that um, birdies have like tiny brains, but they can fly. And she reasoned that surely because she has a giant brain, it, surely she could fly too. So I kind of made some yeah noise and uh, carried on reading my paper. But but she climbed onto this arm of the armchair, climbed all over me and the newspaper to get to this arm of the armchair, knelt on it, stood up on it, worked her way forward to the edge, paused for a moment, got into the ready position, and then she just went for it then. <laughs> Arms and legs going like pistons. A moment later, she got up off the floor, dusted herself down, pulled herself together, kind of straightened everything and just stood there thinking. I could hear her thinking, but I was reading my paper. She walloped up the stairs at 180 miles per hour and, and I could hear and she went quiet, it was quiet for a moment. And then she walloped all the way back down the stairs like a herd of elephants at 180 miles an hour. And she arrived in front of me, clutching in one hand the one feather we had found in the park the day before. She climbed onto this arm of the arm. She climbed all over me in the newspaper to get to this arm, worked her way out to the edge, stood holding the feather and she went for it again. A moment later, she got up off the floor, dusted herself down, pulled herself together, straightened everything, looked at me and holding the feather high above her head, she said, Dad, the feather definitely made a difference. Watch out for the person who's prepared to have a go, even if they've only got one feather. Watch out for the person with a mad idea and a willingness to have a go. You can put money on them. I did. And she's still flying.